Welcome back, folks, to another episode of Farm Sim. Now, we've taken on a little bit, me being sick, but I am feeling a little bit better. And we have this light load. We have to take the milk to the dairy. Yeah, we got to take it to the dairy. Uh, it was running super low. Let's take a look. Come in here. Let's not flip the trailer. Uh, and let's go over here and you can see we got some cheese building up oh yeah I actually had forgot about that new building here let's go take a look at it the spinnery oh wow we already got a bunch of walls so the next episode we will be selling that that's interesting um, yeah, in fact, I think in our next episode for March, we're probably going to do a speedy up it in the very beginning here. Or in the beginning of it for March uh, for selling. Because we got cheese, we got fabric. Although, I did think I talked about this in the last episode. It's been like a week for me. It hasn't been that long for you guys, a week and a half or so. Um... But I think we're gonna we're hoarding gonna start hoarding everything outside of like the lumber, obviously the wood planks. Um, I think we're gonna start hoarding stuff and then going ahead and actually um, gonna be selling everything else now that we have warehouses on their peak times to actually go ahead and sell. Because if you look here, if you are newer to the game, um, you will see. That prices fluctuate quite a bit um, and we need to start selling stuff at peak um, let's get this guy back we got a pretty big day I planned of us I got two ideas I need to do today and we'll see what happens here folks so speaking of making money we got all this going over here we should be start growing like crazy uh, we still should, the sugar cane should grow, that's our sugar cane field, and we do have all our other stuff going, so one thing we absolutely need to do in this episode is make one more production building, and I think what we're going to do is we're going to make a pallet factory, and actually... I kind of do want it face this way. Um, we do want a gap though, so we can get trees over to that other one. Um, Cause if you if you didn't know, oh, come on, let's get this actually pretty straight here. There we go. If if you guys look right here where I had the building, that's where we have to drag the trees to. And while we have this area cleared, I want to put this production building down. Uh, so I'm thinking possibly... Hmm. Right here. And I like that back side of that building like that. Um, Alright, so now that we have that up, we should actually probably... Hmm. Maybe dirt here between the two, I guess, is what I'm thinking. There we go. So, still not 100%, guys. So, if I'm acting a little willy nilly, that's why. But I am feeling a little bit better. Uh, well, a lot better, actually. I was pretty out of commission. Um, you know, it's sad when you don't get out of any games when you're sick. Like, I was, I was pretty down and out. I was not feeling the best. So, I think we've all had, a lot of us have had COVID now to, uh, oh, you know, we could have made that out of dirt, really. That's not dirt. That's animal mud. What am I doing? Uh, I warned you guys. You guys came and watched the video anyway. And let's go ahead. I kind of want to do this in dirt. Good way to waste all our money. Um, but I think a lot of us have had COVID and understand some people get it harder than others. And for me, it kicked my butt. It 
absolutely did kick my butt. Alright. Oh my gosh, I'm making an absolute mess. Let's straighten out and try this again. It bugs me when stuff isn't perfect. There we go. Alright, and then we'll do uh, kind of that on the front, actually. That'll be fine. Alright, so now we are set to go, but the one issue this is going to have... Let's go over to this building here. I do believe this pallet building takes... Uh, oh, it's sitting up off the ground a little bit, ain't it? And then down over there. Oh, yeah, this hill. Shoot. Let me back up. See if we can't fix this quick. Hmm. Yeah, clearly not on my A game. Is that soften? That is soften. All right, let's go ahead. And get that down. We don't we don't want to have issues with that whole deal. Now I know it kind of puts us down on money a little bit, but that is okay. Um, I'm hoping we make a lot of money here shortly. Now let's see if we can smooth this side out a little bit. That's kind of gross. Oh, well, that that does seem to actually be a lot better actually. Yeah, I think we're good there. Let's take a look now. Yeah, that's a lot better. There's only so much we're going to do with blending this hill. And it looks like we pull in stuff right here. Alright, let's take a look at this building. And we're going to want to set this up here to actually start. So one thing I always do, I don't know if you guys are doing it, if you guys are playing along too on your own playthrough, but I always forget to activate it. And so now, um, yeah, I'm going to go, we're going to go cut down a couple trees. I'll get the red devil ready. Yeah, let's cut down a few trees, drag them over there, and we'll see kind of how much this bad boy holds. I was just thinking, before we cut down them trees, I, when I am over here now, I have to change the front of the Red Devil, you know, in order to have the fork, or the uh, front loader thing on the front of it, we have to change the front all the time, because we can't run a uh, PTO on the front when it's like that, so I was thinking, we should see if there is a workshop area that would be just a little area that would be small enough. That's 9,000. Kind of looking for a smaller one here. Where would that be? Oh, this would be a good one. We could do this. Um, and we could use this to actually just switch it back and forth I believe let's try it out here and see if it works alright there we go um, and also we can use it for repairs so we don't have to go back and forth to the farm uh, like crazy front attacher perfect just like that should be no money it is no money now we can hook that up to the back and I can put the stump grinder on the front I re you know I I, I love the Red Devil, don't get me wrong, but we kind of needed this thing on the farm, so the fact that we have now, um, you know, with Woody having to go away because of the reverse issue, this is going to be a whole new process for us, so I'm thinking, let's park over here, um, and we're going to want to drop them trees so we can get to them from this side, yeah, it'll probably be easier... Uh, I guess we could go through either side, so, um, I guess let's drop them. We're just going to drop them and drag them, folks. All right, we got the first tree. Let's bring it around the corner. And then let's take a gander. Oh, wait, is that... Does it not take... Oh, I thought it took wood. Oh, that's it. I'm an idiot. 
Oh my gosh. Alright. So <laughs> I told you it was going to be rough. And you still watched. 4,000. So it looks like. Hmm. It looks like this bad boy is going to take as much as the lumber yard to fill up. That's. That's actually really interesting to me, um, in fact. So, uh, let me grab these trees and just see what's up after that. I just realized I smoked these things, <laughs> these pallets here. We'll have to pick them up, um, but I did two rows there. We have 42,000, I think. 42,000. So... Uh, I actually can't wait to see how this goes. We might actually sell the pallets next month and see kind of how that rolls and what we get for them. But today, we have another pressing issue. Um, it's February, and we got corn coming next month. <laughs> uh, we need a cornfield. Wait, is it corn next month that we need? Oh, we should look. I am not on top of this stuff here. So, in February, we could start planting cotton. Yeah, and then in March. So, April is corn. Huh. April is corn. What did we put? Actually, let's go... I know, oh god, that's a long walk. We don't want to go there. Alright, let's go over here. What did we have in here? We have nothing in here. Um, I know we were switching it from corn, but what are we going to do there? Sorghum, pretty much we have to do. I'm thinking sor we got to do sorghum. Oats wouldn't be bad for the straw, though. I would say that. But I just think in the panic state... Yeah, we'll do oats over here. Alright, we got it figured out. Oh, there's soybeans here. Wait, what? Owned by me. Soybeans. I feel like that's harvested, though. Hmm. You guys are probably all laughing hysterically right now at how dumb I am. Let's go ahead and take a gander. Um, yeah, looks like harvesting. Holy cow. I'm losing my dang mind here. Ah, alright. So, looks like... Yeah, crop tie. Yes, okay, it's harvested. I'm dumb. Alright, so let's get back to this, what we were talking about. Let's draw, allow create fields. Let's lower plow. Now, I don't know how straight or crooked this is. But we need to. Alright, I guess this will work. Right? We're not. That's a pretty straight line. Alright. I'm not sure exactly. Let's go ahead and start turning. I don't know how big exactly we're going to want this. Hmm. You know, we can always extend it if it ain't big enough. But I... I feel like... Yeah, this is at least the size we want to do. Right here. So corn is going to play a big factor because the pigs... The pigs go through it like a crazy amount of it. Um, or I'm assuming they're going to. We need to not make a mess here. Let's go back and fix that quick. There we go. That's a little bit better. Alright, there we go. Uh, but I think the pigs, as they grow here, are going to eat up a ton. 
So let's get that out. Um, why are you only going six? I'm actually not mad about that. So what I'm thinking here, folks, is we're going to do a speedy up bit. All right, our cornfield is done. There was no montage. My bad. Yeah, guys, I didn't realize it was already, like, running late on the episode. Also, will you go faster than six miles an hour for the love of jeepers? All right, well, I guess I'm just going to go put this away back at six miles an hour, guys. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Have a good one, folks.